Hey guys, it's Dana and welcome back to Kay's Place. So I have got a Michaels Hobby Lobby in Tuesday morning haul for you guys. So we're going to start with Michaels. So Michaels had some things on clearance. I went actually looking for the pastel tube of beads that I saw everybody haul that I was so wanting to find that I didn't have any luck. So um, I did go and I found some charms that they had on clearance um, by Charm Charmology. And these were marked to $1.97 and I had a 20% off coupon and I got them for $0.98. Cents. So the first one was this four piece set of charms and they look like little woodland creatures. So they've got a hedgehog, a fox, a squirrel, and then an acorn. And these ended up being $0.98. Cents. So there's those. I thought those were super cute. They are heavy too. Then I got this set of like gem turtles I guess. They've got, they're turtles with little like colored gems on their backs and there's one missing each set of them had one missing or two this was the one that had the fewest of them missing and so I picked up this one and they were supposed to be two, four, six, eight, 12 and this one has 11 and these were 97 so these ended up being 90 98 cents as well so there are those and then these were marked $3.97. And then when they rang up, they rang up as $9.99. And I said something to the lady. I was like, no, over on the shelf it says they're $3.97. And so she went over and she looked and she's like, oh, well, they marked them wrong. But I'll go ahead and give them to you for $3.97. And then when she rang them up, she rang them up and I guess they had a discount. So they ended up being $1.98. And I just thought these would be pretty if I was doing something like mermaid themed or I've got a pack of paper that's purple and blue or something sea themed. I thought those would be some really pretty beads and I definitely have enough to share. <laughs> there are 400 grams or 0.88 pounds, 0 .88, 0 .88 of a pound or 400 grams of beads. And they are really pretty. They're purples and light blues and teals. And so they're really, really pretty colors. So you can get a glimpse of all those colors in there without the. So found that. I was really happy to see that. And as I was standing in line, I've been putting off making this, but I've been wanting to make a um, something with the Alice in Wonderland type of paper that I have and so as I was standing in line I saw this magazine yeah it's called Alice in Wonderland luxury 60 piece card making kit and it's back card making and paper craft and it's got a it's just for you 44 foiled sentiments and toppers 10 pattern papers and six enchanting stamps stamp design so this is what it looks like And hmm. thought it was gonna come open. My food pop. That's what I get for thinking. Here are the stamps. It says Curiouser and Curiouser have a wonderful birthday. It's got a clock, it's got Alice, and then it has the rabbit with the clock attached. So that's what the stamp set looks like. Then you just have the magazine and it's got Some interesting looking paper in it that I hadn't seen yet. Just some. Looks like this might have been from February. It is. It's February's issue. So it has got some like Valentine's Day paper in it. And 
And it's got some uh, interesting stuff from from Sarah from Crafters Companion. And it's got some nice templates in the back for tags and boxes and bags. And download free www.crafters or cardmakingandcraft.com. But it's got some um, templates. For a double slider card. Gift box and lid. Um, a gift tag. Shaped card base. And this one is a gift bag. So yeah, so, hmm. it's got some really neat templates in there. And then this little packet here is your paper, which I haven't opened either, so. a little thing that tells you what you get in it and it's got these foil toppers these all look the same so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you've got tw 20 toppers that are the exact same so ten of each or ten two of each of these And then you've got these foil toppers here. And again, there are 10, and there are two of each of these. Then you've got some paper. It's definitely not cardstock, but it might be just a hair thicker than. like regular copy paper. So you've got this one with the hearts on it. And the the diamonds with the keys. I think that's really pretty. I love this one. It's got the watches and the keys on it and it says Alice with the butterflies. I think that one's really pretty. And this one's got teapots and cupcakes on it. And pies and mushrooms. I like this one. This one's got like the bottle that she drank the stuff out of and it's got teacups and jam and cupcakes. And you get two pieces of each of the papers. So, I like those. And like I said, I have been trying to figure out what kind of project I want to make out of the papers and stuff that I have. Of the different type of... I've got one, some, of the, some of the paper pads from Wonderland. And uh, I've been thinking about getting the digital collection from... Graphic, I think it's Graphic 45 that did the... Uh, Alice in Wonderland collection. So, um, I've been just trying to figure out what type of project I want to do. I think it might be a mini album though, because that would give me the best of both worlds and the ability to probably use as much of my paper as I could in different ways.
had to have an adorable granddaughter and that wouldn't give me the opportunity to put some of her pictures in there. So, but yeah, I thought that was a really cute deal. It was fifteen fifteen ninety nine for the magazine and the stamps and the papers. So then I picked up some things from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think most of what I picked up, that's not what I picked up from Hobby Lobby, that's something totally different. Most of what I picked up was on clearance, but some of it was not. I picked up the Sizzix style. It was regularly $19.99. It was on clearance for $4.99. And it is called Dory. You can do summer, winter, fall, or spring. And it is by Caitlin Lizardi. It's got an embossing folder, the dies, and the stamps. I just thought that was really cute. Um, then I did pick up the Impressions by Courtney Chilson. It's a cut and emboss in one step, and it says Happy Birthday. This is regularly $10.99, and they had it for $2.74. It's one, imp one embossing folder and four dies. So that's what that one looks like. And I'm sure all of you have seen it. This is the back where it gives you the card they've done with it. things I picked up that were on clearance is I did pick up some more of the sequins. These were just picked up in bigger sizes. I picked up, and they had different colors of the ones I've got. I picked up the um, five millimeter in the magenta. I picked up the eight millimeter in royal blue picked up the 8mm in green. I picked up the 8mm in bubblegum. I picked up the 5mm in silver. I picked up the 8mm in chocolate. I think it's funny how these sequins have different colors mixed in with them. Like the red has some little bitty tiny gold ones in it. Picked up the red in 8mm. All these were 49 cents. Picked up the 8mm in silver. I picked up the 8mm in purple. I picked up the 8mm in orange. And I also picked up the 8mm in light blue. So then things that were not on sale. Well, I also picked up the, um, I picked up a punch that was on sale for 50% off. And it is a two and a half inch scalloped circle punch. And then I also picked up this embossing folder, this 3D embossing folder by Gemini, by Crafters Companion. And this is the studded leather. It's a five by seven. This is the one that I could not get through my impress. If you watched my impress video, 
This is the one that I could not get through my impress. It is really thick. This is a super thick embossing filter and it would not go through my impress for anything. But it does make an amazing, amazing impression. So I did pick that up. I picked up this Thank You Die by Spellbinders. It was $14.99. This is the one I used my 40% off coupon on. And it has a textured thank you and then a plain thank you in layers. It looks so pretty when you use it. And then I picked up this Momenta Cut and Emboss set. It is a B. So it's got a honeycomb embossing folder. It's got a little bee, it's got a flower, and it says be happy. It's seven pieces, and it's got the little hexagon, like bee shaped, hexagon, like honeycomb shaped die right there. And that was $9.99 as well. I picked that up at Hobby Lobby. So those are the things that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And then at Tuesday morning, picked up a couple non-crafty items. I love iced coffee. I love caramel iced coffee to be exact. So I picked up this Jordan Skinny Syrup. Zero calorie, zero sugar, vanilla, vanilla caramel cream syrup to attempt to make some iced coffee. It even has a recipe on the back for iced vanilla caramel breve. So I am going to attempt to make some iced coffee to keep here and down at the farm. So I picked some of that up for $3.99. And they also had on clearance these really pretty rose gold shower curtain hooks. They're rust proof. And they were originally $5.99, and they were, let me tell you, because I won't remember, they were $3.59. So I thought that was a pretty decent price for some shower curtain hooks. Then I found this Sizzix Butterfly Set that was regularly $8.99. And it was $5.39 because it was also $60 off. Actually, it should have been more than what it was. But that's okay. I think Shelly marked it 20% off, so it still says 60% off. So. I found these bows for $3.99 and they ended up being a dollar and sixty cents and they are red and gold glitter bows. I hope those are coming handy at Christmas. I found this stamp and die set by Spellbinders and this one is the olive all of me. It says, all of me loves all of you. I've always thought it was kind of cute. I've looked at it several different times and thought about getting it. It ended up being like two dollars and how much was it? Two dollars and some change. Looking for it on there. It's two dollars and something. And then I found this one. I thought this was really pretty. This one is called Chinese Traditional Fence. It's three, um, three dies, and it is also by Spellbinders, and it looks like this. I just thought that would make such a pretty card front, or a background for a card. I just thought it was so pretty. So I picked that one up. 
The only other die I picked up is a Christmas die by Spellbinders. It's called Charming Tag Pocket for $5.99. And this one says Mary. And it is the cutest little tag pocket. That is what it looks like. It comes with a little stocking. And that's how they show it on the other side. Well, apparently my camera decided it was going to stop. So, what I was saying is I found these mint and gold cupcake boxes by Paper Eskimo. And they're six pieces and I thought these would be great for swaps. They are nine by nine by nine, and they were a dollar ninety nine. And then I also found these by Paper Eskimo treat bag set. There are twelve pieces. They're eight and a half by eight and a half by twenty centimeters, and they come with the bags, the bases, the little tags, and the ribbons. And that's what they look like. These were also a dollar and ninety nine cents. And then I also picked up these Maggie Holmes wood frame veneers for $1.99. There are four frames. Just that one. The square. The kind of embellished square. And then this other square. There. So that's what they look like. And I just wanted to say thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, I would greatly appreciate that and hit the like button. I would definitely appreciate that. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you thought about what I picked up. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.